What is up Star Wars fans, I'm Star Wars Only and today I'm going to tell you why I believe a Yoda standalone film, an anthology film, an origin story film about Yoda, Grandmaster Yoda, doesn't make sense. Or that, that doesn't make sense that it shouldn't happen, why we really don't want it and don't need it. So a lot of people have been asking for a Yoda origin film. They want to see what his life was before the prequels, you know, before the Phantom Menace and all that stuff. And they want to see who his master was, even though there's not, it's not canon, but you know, there's a, in the legends, he was trained by some weird looking squid looking guy kind of thing. I don't know how to explain him, but still. So people want to know who his master was. People want to know his problems, his story, how he became to be the grand master of the Jedi Order and how he became to be such a, such a badass, honestly. He talks weird, you know, there's also the fact that he has a, a species that's not very known at all. It's not, there's not a name for him, but they're very rare. You don't hardly ever see him in Star Wars universe. I think you've only seen him twice in the films, and that's Yoda and uh, Yaddle or Yaddle, whatever the heck you want to call her. You know, there's just those two. So there's a lot of mystery behind Yoda and where his origin's from and well, who, who he's about, you know? There's a lot of mystery behind the character, and that's why I feel like we shouldn't have a movie about him. It's because there's that mystery to Yoda that makes him so interesting. So you look at Yoda and you're like, I want to know what his origin story was. I want to know his entire story and everything. But then again, that mystery to his character is what makes him so good, what makes him so interesting and why you want to hear more about him. Because he is interesting and that's why you do want to learn is because he is interesting. But there's that mystery that makes him interesting. There's that mystery of him that builds his character. And if we exploit that, then it might kill the character in general. And that's why I don't think we should have a film about him. You guys don't know this much, or you will now. I'm a huge Lord of the Rings fan. And J.R. Tolkien is my favorite author of all time, honestly. I love his books, I love his work, and I love Lord of the Rings almost, almost as much, if not more, than I do Star Wars. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is cracked. But... In um, Lord of the Rings, J.R.R. Tolkien does really good on mystery. So if you've watched the movies or know anything about Lord of the Rings, there's the wizards, there's the five. There's the two blue wizards, there's Radagast the Brown, there's Saruman the White, and then there's Gandalf the Grey who does become the White eventually. But there's the two, the two blue wizards that you've never seen in films, you don't really hear about much in the books or anything. And why is that? Well, because they went off to do another mission. These two are my favorite out of the order. I really want to learn about the two blue wizards a lot because I don't know anything about them. I, I do know some stuff about them, like, you know, they're part of the order of, uh, with the wizards, but they failed their mission. They actually failed and didn't do what they were supposed to do. Well, that's kind of disheartening and that kind of kills their character for me and I don't like that. So knowing about the, those two blue wizards failing like that, it kills the characters and makes them not as interesting as they were Whereas I'm just like, all right, there's these two blue badass wizards that I really want to learn about. Well, it's the same thing with Yoda. And even, you know, with Master Chief from the Halo series, you want to learn more about Master Chief. You want to see his face. You want to hear all about his origin stories. Well, that would kind of kill the character to see his face because there's that mystery of what he looks like that makes him so badass. Same with the Joker. Uh, you, you, want to, you want to hear about his origin stories. You want to see why he became like he was and everything. You want to see his face without the makeup and all this stuff. But if you do that, that kills the mystery to the character. That is the exact same thing for me with Yoda. That mystery of Yoda makes him so interesting, makes him such a good character that if we find out who he really is and we get rid of the mystery, what do we have? We could have a complete badass, but we could also have something that's completely disappointing. And I think that, no matter what's going to happen, is going to be the result. Because it's like reading a book. You read the book, you're like, wow, this is great. Like, I've read The Hunger Games, and I love the first two books. And then I watched the movies, and I was, like, completely disappointed. Well, why is that? Because my imagination on the way I interpret the books are better than the movies. Same thing with Yoda. Your imagination on the mystery of this character makes him so much better than he is. So when you actually see someone else's imagination about him and see how someone writes him out and uses him, you're disappointed. Why is that? Because the mystery's gone and your imagination on that mystery is taken away and you see the truth and you're going to be disappointed no matter what. But that's just me. Hope you guys liked this video. I know it was a lot shorter than my other ones, but that's just how I felt about uh, Yoda film and why it shouldn't happen. I know I say if it makes money, it makes sense, but I think this would really kill the character. Tell me if you think this would kill the character. Comment your thoughts below. I'm Star Wars Only. Comment, like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. May the force be with you always.